of living and of dying. I am talking about living as being in the active life and death and dying is when we come to retirement and coming to a state well of calm that we are out of the active life. For this I am examining my ambitions and dreams starting from when I was seven years old and I wanted to make a hole in the sky and go on the other side starting from there until now. In this part I saw three snakes. One that came up from the ground and I had to go up and escape. One that I fed a handful of rice and one that I opened a swimming pool and I let it escape. That was three snakes. And we see that snake represents the desires arising in the body. When I say I like something, it must stir something in me. This that is the that is stirred in me is the snakes. Now I saw three cats. One my father drowned. One that after fighting went away and one that went into the ground. We have to see cats as established behavior, obsession, addiction, things that trap you in a certain activity. These are the cats. Now I saw three dogs. First time I saw three dogs, I was coming with like a bus. And three dogs was in the road. We came to a stop. And then later on, I in other dreams, I met one dog that bit my left ankle, one bit my left butt, one bit my left wrist. We have to see dogs as continuity, support, and um, like our part in life. This is pretty much like the stories we make up. I will go, I will get, I will do. These are the dogs. Now I saw three fish. In another dream, I saw three fish in the northeastern corner of a swimming pool. We have to see fish as knowledge. As fish swims in water, knowledge swims in consciousness. Now, <laughs> by fortune telling, once I was told I have three girlfriends, another time I was told I have three children, Another time I was told, I have three wives. We have to see, this is, as I was saying, whatever you stage you come in life, you go through that, you have an accomplishment, you go through that. And oh yeah, and I, in another dream, I conclude that I had three mothers. These are the, what sends you out in the life, your ambitions, and also your stage in life. Now, the story now started at the end of November, continuing until December. I dreamt I shot a man and I made a report that yes, I shot that man. Then about a week later, I dreamt a man was coming up to me and I didn't want to move back. So I took out a machete. I pointed straight at his chest. And I say, if he comes forward, he's going to get it. And as the machete touched his chest, he held the blade and stabbed himself. And then, in another scene, in that same dream, I was telling somebody I was present at his death. At his death. So now we see that later on, I dreamt I am sitting on a bed. There's a woman beside me wearing a hospital gown and there's a man beside her. She leaned on him. He opened her hospital gown. I see that, but well, I saw her body under that anyway. 
<laughs> and then um, there was a woman standing in front of this woman, and that woman said, this woman is in labor, will soon have a child. And I looked away. Well, I didn't want to watch. And I say, well, let me see how I conclude that. Okay, I don't see how I conclude that. I see that the um, the one I killed as my past, the one who I stopped and killed himself as my present, and the child who is going to be born is my future. Because everything I dream is about me. And now I see after that, I dreamt, oh yes, after that I dreamt, I saw a woman fortune teller. And I say, tell me my future. And in the next scene, she says to me, begin, as if I knew what was going on. And I started to sing. I drew a picture of a pair of wings. Because I want to fly. And I woke up with that. And as soon as I woke up, I wrote this down. A baby does not get lonely because it does not know anyone. A baby does not suffer longing because it has never desired. A baby does not get restless because it has never moved. A baby does not suffer shame because it has no sense of self. And this is the future I am expecting. The fortune teller, instead of telling me my future, I have presented my future. And I am waiting for that child to be born. Now, this comes to now December 25th. I dreamt I was off the ground, not too high, maybe about the tree line. And I can see the street going east to west. And um, I see the lights go out, the street lights go out. Then I saw the lights in the houses go out. Then I was on the northern side of the road. And there is two men there, two men there. I didn't see them, but I know they're there, and I can hear them. And one asked the other one if he can allow me to go through his fields. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going or what I'm supposed to be doing, but just go in. And he said, fields. But there is no fields. There is just <laughs> clear ground. And I was running with long strides. Sometimes for a couple of seconds, I could see myself off the ground. That's how fast I was moving. Then I come to a stop. And there's a, like a carpet on the ground. And I lifted the carpet. And there are stairs going down. And I went down. And I could see it is like a hospital operating room. Doctors all around. They looked at me and I looked at them. And I'm thinking, they will wonder how I managed to be there. But I didn't say anything. They didn't say anything. Then it's as if I am walking. And on my left side is green drapes. Like you would see along a hospital ward. And I went behind the drapes. And there's a woman lying on the bed. And I, as I approached, she asked me, did you get all your shots for flu and things like that? And I said, yes. I went to lie down on the bed and she get off the bed. And I awake and I say, this is it. Lights out for me. That was it. all the electricity is gone. And now I am going underground. And I go to this bed. And I said to myself, that's it. I am now dead. And now I am thinking, now it will be time for the 
rebirth as a well that's what it is now in the story of the path to sajas i said i am still young so i will do what i like when i am old and i'm retired i will start this meditation and yoga to go with it because i said meditation for this meditation you have to write a story and that story will keep you in times like this when you come to do yoga you understand an ambition and this is where it is possible so now i am there in retirement sajas like a newborn i attend raj indra nat interpreter 